Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Aaron. I'm a junior doctor training in ophthalmology in London. And on the side, I put out some medical education content onto YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. I found this helpful when I was studying and hopefully you guys find it helpful as well. So this video is part of the series of videos looking at possible cases that could come up in your abdominal OSCE station. We'll look at each of these cases in a separate video. So please go check the others out. In this video, we'll be focusing on liver transplant. As usual, we'll be looking at the positive findings of this case, how to present your findings clearly, and how to tackle any viber questions that could be thrown at you. So I hope you find it useful. Let's jump straight into the case. So here are the positive findings from this case. We can see this really large scar on the abdomen in the shape of a Mercedes-Benz logo. And then on palpation, we can feel a mass underneath this scar. So putting both these findings together, you're really thinking this is a liver transplant case. Sometimes you don't get the Mercedes-Benz scar and instead you get an inverted L scar. It really just depends on the surgical approach of the surgery. But now let's have a look at how we would present these findings. I performed an abdominal examination on this patient who has signs suggestive of a liver transplant. My main positive findings to support this are a Mercedes-Benz scar with a palpable mass underneath that was dull to percussion consistent with a liver allograft. My relevant negative findings are reassuringly there were no signs of decompensation. For example, there was no hepatic encephalopathy flap. There was no signs of ascites and there was no jaundice. There was no splenomegaly. There were no liver biopsy scars and there were no signs of post-op complications such as incisional hernias. This points towards a diagnosis of a liver transplant with no signs of decompensation. The cause of the chronic liver disease is unclear but the absence of any signs of Dupuytren's contracture or protid swelling, which would suggest alcoholic liver disease, any signs of Kaiser Fleischer rings for Wilson's disease, any xanthelasma, which might suggest primary biliary cirrhosis, and any tattoos, which could point towards viral hepatitis, make some of these causes less likely. There are also no signs of post-op complications, such as incisional hernias, and there were no signs to suggest long-term immunosuppressant use. They could also go on to ask you about medications that this patient might have to be on considering they've had a transplant. And you want to try and not only name medications, but also potentially give some potential side effects of these. So for example, post-transplant patients need to be on long-term immunosuppression for the rest of their life. This includes long-term steroids and side effects could include cushioningoid features such as a buffalo hump, Another long-term immunosuppressant commonly used is tacrolimus, which could present with side effects such as a tremor and a gingival hyperplasia. Okay, so that brings us to the end of this video. I really hope you found that useful in terms of liver transplant OSCE cases that could come up in your exam. If you did find it useful, then please give this video a thumbs up, give me a comment below and subscribe to the channel. But for now, thanks for watching guys, and I will see you in the next video.